Hi friends, I am Ranga Rajesh. Uh, I am the author of uh, uh, ASP.NET tutorial online.blogspot.com and uh, jQuery example code.blogspot.com. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about the different uh, examples of jQuery. Uh, in this exam, in this tutorial, I am going to explain what is the difference between production and development jQuery code. Okay, for this jQuery source code, we can say that jQuery source code. Okay, now I'm going to enter into the jQuery site jQuery.com. Now I'm going to click on download jQuery. Now it is going to uh, open the jQuery in the over here. This is you can able to see this jQuery production version and jQuery development version. You can also see uh, jQuery 1.x version means one version and this is you are going to see the jQuery uh, production version and development version. Now I'm going to download the latest jQuery version and I'm going to download the production version now. Open it new link and then I'm going to open the jQuery development version as well. Okay. Now I can able to see the jQuery min.js. Okay. Now I'm going to save this file name. I'm going to save this file control A and I'm going to save this control S okay and I'm going to save in on the desktop jQuery examples okay here I'm going to create a folder called uh, JS okay and then I'm going to put uh, jQuery.min.js because uh, I want to simplify in my system uh, I don't want versions so I'm going to keep all my JS files into the uh, into the uh, some folder okay now I'm going to uh, open here just I'm going to save this in my local mission uh, in the jQuery examples folder just I'm going to make it as uh, jQuery.js this is the development version now you can able to see the uh, differences between uh, here and there because this is compressed version here unwanted characters are completely removed come to here you can able to see so much of comments and then you can able to see, able to see lot of data which is having the comments and uh, uh, lot of stuff other stuff also there okay come to code is same there is no difference between the uh, minimi minimized version and development version yeah. and one more difference is if you want to work with uh, jquery plugins that time you have to you may need to uh, access jquery real code that time you need to access the uh, that time development version will be very useful for you whenever you want to go into uh, go into jquery library code okay so we, we are going to see the uh, uh, we are going to see the what is the uh, size of this uh, jQuery file now. See, you can able to see lot of difference between this uh, minified version and development version. In the minima minified version, you can see only 83 kilobytes occupied, and here you are going to see 242 kilobytes occupied. Whenever you are going to use, uh, whenever you are using this kind of stuff in the production for loading uh, uh, developed uh, development jQuery.js, it will consume more. Uh, it will occupy more amount of memory for the page so that time page load will be will get page load time will be increased so page performance will be decreased so uh, your website cannot serve to more users at a time for long term okay so minimized version will be very very useful for the production and development version will be very very useful for the developers for advanced those who wanted to access the jquery methods internal jquery methods okay uh, you can able to see so many comments in the development version whatever css cascade w3 org standards whatever it may be uh, you can able to see so much of stuff in the jquery development version i hope uh, you enjoyed this video we will uh, uh, in the next video we will learn about how to put uh, this uh, jquery development version uh, file and how to install or else how to attach this file in the development version uh, development jquery file in the html page i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and give your valuable comments on this video thank you friends have great days